debating if I should take everything out of my luggage or not, or just leave it here for months. Probably selling on the la ladder. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing having things in my luggage and knowing where they are versus me deciding to take things out of the luggage and forgetting where I put them. <laughs> the luggage is just like a mobile dresser. Basically, yes. I mean, I have one where I have all the, all the equipment, which I know where all the wires and stuff are. And then I have clothing and miscellaneous one. And then I have a full on clothing one. But at the same time, it's like been so hot that I have to do laundry so often. So I do have to take out all my clothes at one point. Does the place have good AC? I mean, it has AC. I think it's not like an old AC or anything. It's just a regular AC. I do have it on quite often. I'm kind of scared to see the electricity bill, but you know what? I'll work hard to make up for it. <laughs> Honestly, the heat itself is not too, too bad for me because... Well, I don't go outside if I don't have to. I honestly thought that it was gonna be really, really bad. So I was kind of scared getting to Japan. But I think because I was prepared for the worst, that it wasn't as bad. Like, I walked around outside in daytime. Like, when it was the hottest, around like noon to like 4 p.m. And I was doing pretty okay. I mean, I might not have looked like I was doing okay. But internally, I wasn't like frustrated or anything. <laughs> I remember when I was little, I lived in like a really humid place, relatively humid place. When it gets to like a certain heat level and humidity level, I get really like, Ugh, you know? <laughs> like, please don't talk to me because I will melt. <laughs> but I was, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, actually. I've been trying to drink a lot of water, sports drinks if I feel like I was sweating too much. Made sure that I always wear like a hat. Taking my vitamins every day, exactly. I've been debating getting like the the fancy stun parasols. <laughs> Everyone has like a like a sun umbrella. I don't, I don't know what else you call it. I don't I wanna get like a cute one though. I don't wanna get like a normal one. I don't know where I would go to get a cute one. <laughs> a parasol. I don't know, if I say parasol, it seems too like high class, like fancy, like <laughs> I guess because just just the word parasol seems like something very like, you know, ojo-sama, but like, oh, ho, 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 ho. I will use my lace parasol this while. <laughs> it is pretty common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you, the, the sun intensity is not as bad as back home. Because the sun intensity wise, like, it's pretty bad back home, I have to say. But at least at home, it's pretty dry-ish, kind of. I don't know, I've never felt like my head felt like it was burning off here. <laughs> compared to, compared to uh, back home. Like, if I go outside back home in the sun without a hat, I probably would feel like my hair would catch on fire or something. It's because it's that intense. <laughs> it makes the sun feel definitely a lot stronger. But here in high humidity, it feels like it's hot, but the sun rays are dissipated because of the humidity. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. But it basically just feels like I got out of a really hot shower and I can't get out of that hot, humid feeling outside. <laughs> It's like when you first get out of the shower and, and the bathroom still has that hot, steamy heat. It just feels like that. Except it never goes away unless you have good air conditioning. I haven't had to do anything where I had to, you know, stand outside for longer periods of time. So other than that, not much so far. There has been a few rehearsals and stuff, but nothing ramped up yet. Have I met any other members yet? Uh, I met a couple. I don't know if I can spoil anything. I don't want to spoil anything. I can't say I met Bay though. And Callie. I think like as soon as it landed, I was like, I didn't have any plans after I landed. So I realized that um, Callie and Bay were gonna go eat dinner together and I was just like, hey guys. 
mind the fight button <laughs> I'm mad up with them I'm mad a couple others but maybe I can talk about it another time that's a problem sometimes it's like when we do rehearsals and stuff I can be like oh I met so and so and so but then it ends up being like spoilers for if I met them for work stuff so <laughs> did I see Mimo and Shiori 3D and then I had to watch Shiori's VOD but I watched a bit of Mimo's live Seeing them move, seeing them actually move is like unreal. <laughs> they look great. They look great. They're so cute. I especially like people's um, little legally distinct fight. <laughs> I don't know how else to phrase it. Any JP members encountered yet? I don't think so. It's all just been Ian so far, anyways. <laughs> Any new Koi? Oh, I guess maybe I can say it. I did run into Naura at the um at the studio one time. Of course I got I got a hug. <laughs> Except like we were doing a um we were doing a a rehearsal, I think. Well I was doing a rehearsal. So I couldn't really, you know, exactly pull off the I'm the assistant manager joke. I wasn't dressed for the part. <laughs> it was uh, quite obvious I was not a manager. <laughs> it would have been funny though. <laughs> Did I read any books during my flight? Nope. I literally got on my flight. I had my, you know, first meal. And then I passed out. <laughs> and then I woke up like 30 minutes before the breakfast or the meal before landing. Which was very good. It would have been nice to be productive on the flight. But at the same time, getting that much sleep during a flight is pretty good. So, perfect flight, I think. <laughs> Everything else is pretty standard. To be honest, it really doesn't feel like I'm overseas. Maybe it's because I've been in Japan too many times now. <laughs> my brain... I mean, technically, I still can't read a lot of the signs and stuff, but my brain just processes it naturally. I think I'm just... I'm just used to it. <laughs> I do miss my desk at home. I have to say... The desk I have right now is quite interesting. Width-wise, it's like a little smaller than what I have at home. But like depth-wise, I don't know how else to explain it. It's like 60% of my usual desk setup at home. So I'm missing quite a bit of real estate here. <laughs> I want to watch movie in the theater. I want to watch Look Back. I was interested in watching it before I left. So... Went to watch in the theaters. It was good. It was good. I think if it comes into theaters, I will watch it. I mean, I feel like if you're like a creative person, it's a very meaningful kind of movie. It was good. Hmm. Did you cry? Yes. <laughs> I might have. <laughs> it, it was good though. It was good. The good thing about Japanese movie theaters is that when you go to watch the movie, they give you like an item or like a gift for watching that movie. And the what what I got was a um, postcard, like a postcard set kind of of the Genga, it's the the keyframe I think. So it was it was pretty nice. And usually you can like. After you watch the movie, if you really like it, you can go to like their shop that they have like right beside their food condition. And you can buy like the guidebook, I think is what they call it, of the movie. And they have like exclusive interviews or like for look back. I got the one for look back, but had like the character designs and stuff, um, which I think is a really good like movie culture. Because like if you really like that movie, after you finish, you're just like, you know, I, I could really use some merch for this movie. And you can go like beside the shop and you can buy the merch. Like for look back, it was sold out when I went. But they had like limited edition, I guess, special sketchbooks. You know that, you know the usual sketchbook you think of when you think of like a Japanese sketchbook, the yellow and green one? <laughs> they had a lookbook like version of it for sale. It was sold out, of course, because it's been in theaters for a while. But you could get that or like, you know, a lot of merch for each movie. And I think that's pretty good. 
like you get a free gift for just watching the movie and if you really liked it you can get the guidebook or like related merch and stuff i, I do wish that's one thing that the that the movies in the west did yeah it's like it's another way to support the movies too <laughs> it adds to the overall i think enjoyment of the movie and the fact that everyone just waits until the end of the credits before leaving i think that she was like Good respect to whoever worked on the movie. But I really like going to the movies in Japan, so... And there's a lot of movies coming out while I'm here too. A lot of animated movies, I think. So I'm looking forward to going to watch them. They had like another Crayon Shinchan movie coming out too. Quite, quite exciting. The Bochi movie? I don't know if theaters around here still has the Bochi movie. They had the merch actually, now that I think about it. He had some of the leftover merch from when the movie was in on the screen. I got I got some of the random keychains actually. I bought four. And I got one dupe. I just wanted Bochi, but I got one dupe. I don't have Kita, unfortunately. I was hoping I was lucky and I got one of each, but if I am Bochi, who is your Kita? Um <sighs> I think maybe Bay. <laughs> Bay does invite me to go out for food and stuff when I'm just like, hee hee, I'm in the apartment. <laughs> but then I feel like Bay is all. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe Bay. I don't think she's an extrovert though. Kiara? I don't think she's an extrovert either i mean she has that energy but she's the i'm gonna be charged by chilling with my cats kind of person <laughs> i think people always confuse introvert extrovert with like being outgoing and being like more shy and stuff <laughs> extroverted people are people who need who recharge by going out and hanging out with people and social like socializing the act of socializing recharges them they're very very different mm. so they do not exist um it may seem like they don't exist in our vicinity because for example chat and i are very introverted people who likes to, you know, watch YouTube and chill alone. <laughs> However, there is many more people, rest of the world, who may or may not be sleeping and or awake. We are just a small fraction of the world. <laughs> we are just frogs in a well, is what I would put it as. <laughs> Probably wrap it up here today. It's only like 7.30 only seven the day is only starting day hasn't even started <laughs> it feels unreal to me i think yesterday too i went out to get like quote-unquote lunch and stuff and i looked at the time and it was like 10 30 in the morning and it felt like i was awake for such a long time <laughs> i'm such a normal member of society in japan because i'm so used to waking up at this hour and then I remember one time I was going somewhere on taxi and I got into the taxi and they were Ohayou gozaimasu and I was like what? What? What do you mean it's Ohayou? Isn't it like... Shouldn't it be Konnichiwa? And I looked at time and it was like 10.30 in the morning I was like what? What do you mean Ohayou? <laughs> what do you mean it's not noon or past noon? It's actually morning? <laughs> What do you mean I'm in Ohio? <laughs> Part of me is happy that I am awake or am able to wake up at this hour. I don't know how true it's gonna stand after I get more dance lessons and rehearsals in the upcoming weeks. But we will see. We will see how things go. 